six days before the Passover, Jesus went to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, the man he had raised from death. They prepared a dinner for him there, which Martha helped to serve. Lazarus was one of those who were sitting at the table with Jesus. Then Mary took half a litre of a very expensive perfume made of pure nard, poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped them with her hair. The sweet smell of the perfume filled the whole house. One of Jesus' disciples, Judas Iscariot, the one who was going to betray him, said, Why wasn't this perfume sold for 300 silver coins and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He carried the money bag and would help himself from it. But Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep what she has for the day of my burial. You will always have poor people with you, but you will not always have me. A large number of people heard that Jesus was in Bethany, so they went there, not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom Jesus had raised from death. So the chief priests made plans to kill Lazarus too, because on his account, many Jews were rejecting them and believing in Jesus. We tell that story remembering Mary and her love, her extravagant love, her self-giving love. And I hope that's something that we all relate to just now. The amazing love that is motivating all those who are taking risks just now, all of us who are giving things up just now, all that's going on in our world to help others and care for others. May we know the love that shapes that and underpins that, the love that is for us too. Amen.